including whole communities into that Comstock Act. We are talking about imprisoning transgender communities for existing. The Republican Party, the GOP, is, is no more. We have MAGA now. It's a different party. It has different ideologies and different goals. And this MAGA administration will commit human right violations. It is written in their policies. They will imprison people for existing and expressing who they are. That has never been an American way. There were gay people, trans people, all sorts of people being themselves in Berlin in the 1920s and the 1930s. Brandy, you sound like Chicken Little, the sky is falling. Oh no, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. I know, it sounds like that. Hello, hello, and thank you for joining me. This is a trans moment with Brandy Beckett. Today, we are continuing our talk about Project 2025 and the impact it is having on the transgender community. Cross-dressing, drag, entertainers, and transgender people are now equal to pornography according to Project 2025. If you are wearing clothing that is assigned to a gender that is not of your gender assignment at birth, you are wearing something illegally now. You are performing pornography. That is the language that Project 2025 have seen. But they go further. Not only is it pornographic, and not only should it be stopped through the mail, but all distributors, all people who promote and talk about these issues of what they will call pornography, should be imprisoned. That's the terminology they use. Imprison those supporting, distributing, and engaging in pornography. Now, mind you, what do they consider pornography? Not just stuff you find in a magazine or online everywhere or in a video store somewhere in the 1980s. Pornography is now taking on new terminology. Pornography is now talking about people's existence, my existence, my expression of my gender identity will be considered pornographic. What you are looking at right now is considered pornographic according to Project 2025. They want to imprison transgender people for existing. They want to imprison drag performers for performing and entertaining. They want to imprison cross-dressers for exploring their hobbies. This is shocking and remarkable. In 2024, we are talking about the Comstock Act, and we are talking about including whole communities into that Comstock Act. We are talking about imprisoning transgender communities for existing. This is scary, people. And if MAGA gets in control of our country and they use this playbook, which they will, there is no other playbook, this is the playbook. This is the major contributor of the MAGA movement. Heritage Foundation is the fuel for MAGA. And they want to burn up transgender communities. They want our existence 
illegal. They want us to not exist. They want us to go away. Randy, you sound like Chicken Little, the sky is falling. Oh no, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. I know, it sounds like that. And a couple of years ago, if I was saying this, I would have been like, crazy girl, you sky's not falling. Come on, we have protections. We have constitutions. We have a, we have a great concept of a nation that has checks and balances. And you can't just eliminate groups of people in the United States. That's silly. That's what they always say. Can't happen here. That's what they say. We have too big and too strong of an LGBT presence in this United States. You can't go after us like that. So they said in Berlin in 1939. 38, 37. Do you realize that the LGBTQ community in, in Berlin in the 1930s was larger than the LGBTQ community in Berlin is in 2024, today? It still hasn't recovered. Berlin had one of the largest transgender communities on the planet at the time in the 1920s and the 1930s. They had huge clubs. They were very welcoming and open. There were gay people, trans people, all sorts of people being themselves in Berlin in the 1920s and the 1930s in many places across Germany. There was a social movement in Germany, if you haven't heard. There was a political party taken over and morphed into something evil. It's hard to make a direct comparison. No, it's not. It's pretty easy to make a direct comparison. Look at the political bend of what happened to the Republican Party. The conservative Republican Party of Reagan, Bush, and even other Bush, it doesn't exist anymore. MAGA exists now. That party of Cheney and Bush, it's, it's pushed further than the back burner. It's not coming back. Those supporters have been stifled the Romneys. Don't hear about them. You don't hear about the conservatives who ideology comes out of Reaganomics and ideology comes out of the Bush-Cheney era. Those people are called never Trumpers. The party died with them. Republican Party, the GOP is no, it's no more. We have MAGA now. It's a different party. It has different ideologies and different goals. And they're focused on culture wars. They're focused on social issues. They're putting it up front. Number one. Number one what they want to do. Eliminate transgender people. They're not stopping with us, just as they're not going to stop with the getting rid of abortion rights. They're not gonna stop there. Your reproductive rights are gonna go away with the MAGA party in charge. That's like half the population more than half the population should be concerned about reproductive rights. Gone. Right to express who you are as a trans person. Gone. The right to be an American as I once knew. 
will be gone. Project 2025 is fueling the MAGA party in, in the next administration. This is scary, y'all. I'm an American citizen, been an American citizen my entire life. Both my parents, American citizens their entire lives. All of my grandparents were American citizens all of their lives. All of their parents were also American citizens. I have direct line of my family going back to the 1600s in these, what we now call United States. When my family first got here, there wasn't a United States. United States built up around us. I've always been here. And now, MAGA party wants me to leave. MAGA party wants me not to exist. I've been American. I've always been American. There's no reason I should be pushed any further down any class rating of my citizenship because of who I am. Because I am an American citizen first and foremost. And I am a transgender woman. There is no reason why I can't be both and be proud of both in my country, in our country, in this country. Let's keep it this country. Regardless if who you are registered under, which party, this is not a party situation. This is a democracy situation. This is a human rights situation because both of those things are in serious jeopardy and both of those things will go away if MAGA gets in charge. Human rights, God. as long as you consider transgender and gay people and most of the LGBTQ community human, let's consider all LGBTQ people human. Let's consider all people in our borders human. And let's think about human rights. MAGA wants to take them away. MAGA wants to treat humans in our country less than, less than what they are. We are all human. Do not treat us less than. Do not write policies about treating us less than. It's not the American way. So I don't care what party you are, belong to, what party you have belonged to. You cannot vote for this MAGA administration. This MAGA administration will commit human right violations. It is written in their policies. They will imprison people for existing and expressing who they are. That has never been an American way. If you consider yourself an American, do not vote for Donald Trump and his MAGA party. Vote for human rights. Vote for decency of our country and vote with empathy. Americans, citizens in your heart. I don't want to be a casualty of my own country. Project 2025 is scary, y'all. And if for no other reason, vote any other check mark besides the party who's going to implement that playbook for our country, because it is evil. We will talk more about Project 2025 in coming episodes. So thank you for, thank you for listening. Urge others 
to look into Project 2025 and vote with empathy and concern for how America should be. We're better than this. We're better than Project 2025. Well, I'm going to leave you as I always do with this message. Love yourself, but more importantly, like yourself and treat people the way they want to be treated. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>